A Prezi is a fun and easy way to present your information. I'm going to show you how to create a Prezi. All you have to do is Google Prezi online and there's a place to sign up. It is free or if you would like the upgrades you can choose those but we choose the free. It has me logged in already so it's not going to allow me but to sign up for a Prezi you just need to put in your email address and our email address is our lunch number at millvillenj.gov and you can check the board um, to see what your email or lunch number is. All right, we just go up and we click on a new Prezi because that's what we're going to create. We wait for it to load. And then we get to pick our theme. So keep in mind what it is you'd like to present because you want your theme to go along with what you're presenting. Are you explaining the topic? Yes, you are because this lesson that I gave to you, the presentation is about a region in the United States. So you're going to explain a topic. So we're going to click on that as our template and then we're going to click use template. It comes up automatically and this is our title page. So we're going to want to put our title and if you are doing the Southwest, that would be your title. Okay. Click into the title page and you see how it's going to be laid out. Your title is in the middle and it goes to each section of your Prezi. So in the very beginning, you're going to click to put your topic and you can, once you click it open, you can edit text and change just like in a Word document. You can change your lettering, how you want it to center, put a bullet in before it, All right? Now, if you don't like the places that they've added these topic lines, you can go up here and click insert you can insert an image and you can select files from your computer or you can search the web for an image. I want a picture of mm, Grand Canyon. So it's going to pull up all of these pictures of the Grand Canyon that I could place inside of my Prezi. I like this one so I'm going to double click and it'll pull it in and at that point I can make it bigger I can zoom it in I could crop the image and just have a section of it in I could delete it if I don't like it and put another one in or I can just keep it now to click and move you can just drag your pictures and your text boxes wherever you would like them and once that slide is um, what you want, then you can just go to number three. And you're going to do the same thing. Maybe this time you would like to insert a YouTube video. So we need to get the link to a YouTube video. So I'm going to go back to another tab and I'm going to click on YouTube video of Grand Canyon and see what pops up. Right. Um, here's a photo and a video. <clears throat> I have photos, photos, I have some shared videos. This one looks like it's going to give me the most. Right. So I'm going to click up and it wants me to register. So I'm going to go back and look at a different Okay, here's a YouTube, National Geographic, Amazing Flight. That looks good. Okay, so then I'm going to come up here and I'm going to highlight. I'm going to right click on my mouse. I'm going to copy that URL. 
and then I'm going to go back to my Prezi and I'm going to right click again and paste my URL there and insert. Now I have a video in one of my slides and I can put up here that this is a video of Grand Canyon and I can make my text box longer by dragging it from side to side make sure it's centered <clears throat> once it looks good I can move on to the next slide and it looks like my last slide covered it up so I'm going to do a little editing and make this video a little bit smaller and move it out of the way okay because here is my next and what I could do is just put another video of the Grand Canyon in here right so if I'm going to select an image off of my computer I'll show you how to do that you can select files on the side I searched images on the web here so now if I want to select a file here I can go to wherever I'm storing my pictures mm. yeah none of those pictures have to do with the Grand Canyon so maybe you won't have any pictures on your file but this is how you would insert them if you did you would just go to the file find a picture let's just say this one of the desert is what I want because the Grand Canyon is um, a dry area right and then I'm just going to double click and it'll show right up into my slide I could do the same thing I can make it bigger I can move it around change where I want it to be okay now if that's all I wanted to do and my slideshow is complete I can just right click on number five edit the path alright unfortunately once you have picked a theme and a template you are stuck with the ones that they have there for you but if you need to change the arrangement just click and drag alright so we want to fill this one in There we go. And you can fill them in with more pictures about the Southwest or anything that you want to. Once you have all of your slides prepared, the last slide brings it all back together and it shows you your original title. Make sure that it's what you're looking for and that it looks pleasing to the eye and then you can simply click present now this saves automatically so if you look up here it says saved at 845 that was two minutes ago up oh, and it's updating already it is saved in prezi.com under my login so I don't need a flash drive and it's always there on every computer that I pull up I could also share my presentation I can share my Prezi I could share it on Facebook, I can download it, and I can make it a portable Prezi. But this is what I want to show you, how to share your Prezi. Right? This is the link. So all I would have to do is put in the email address of the people that I would like to send this Prezi to. And then they would be able to link and open it. Right, but for right now, we're going to present our present. Okay, it's in full screen. All I'm going to do is arrow through. And as I arrow through, I'm going to talk about what's going on. Of course, then I have a video that I would click to play. Once that was finished playing, I could go through all of the rest of my pictures, and my slides giving as much information about the Southwest 
as I can to my students. This is your project. Refer back to this how-to video at any time to find out what you're supposed to do in order to make a Prezi.